My name is Angelica Jekyella and I'm a human earth angel. I created the online merciful information session. A session where humans can tune in and view online on the website entitled Online Merciful Information Session. It is to replace the old harmful to human health, Catholic and other world religion masses. It is intended to prevent the health failing and suffering of all kids, humans, disabled, old people, humans of all ages, races, nationalities, of animals and nature. I Angelica Jekela am a human earth angel. I have high celestial ranking in heaven. I am making this version of the online merciful information session oriented towards informing kids. In essence, a new Holy Mass that the online merciful information session is to be viewed once a week or as needed when a human is well rested, has enough food internalized, with enough nutrients and glucose to think in the brain, for their heart to beat, for their body to function properly, to view instead of traveling in too cold or too warm temperatures to a place of worship, such as a Catholic church, a Protestant place of worship, Presbyterian place of worship, an Islamic mosque, Buddhist temple, Jewish synagogue, other Christian religion, places of worship, holy sites in the world, St. Peter's Square, in front of the Vatican, The online merciful information session I created as a human being, an earth angel, a humanitarian. By me, a human earth angel. Directed towards all humans to participate and view once every week instead of going into cold or too warm temperatures to a place of worship as mentioned to save the health and lives of 100 million kids, humans of all ages, disabled, of all nationalities, of all religions and of all non-religious humans, loved pets, animals, all living creatures and nature. The first part of the online merciful information session is geared towards humans maintaining proper 
physical health, to be well rested, to care for their own health. For kids, that their mother loved into existence to care for their own health, to remember these words that Sunday is a day of rest, that God, the holy grace of God, the Creator, the Holy Father, created the universe for six days and nights and then rested on Sundays and expects his creation, his humans, starting as little children that he created in his own image and loved into existence this holy, loving grace of God, the Holy Father, created humans in his own image and expects them to be healthy, to maintain their health of their brain, their mind, their physicality, their bodies, and to maintain this health after to remember the parents of the kids cared for and loved into existence, the kids, the mother took care of the child in the womb for nine long months, cared for it, ate nutritious food and was well rested until the baby was born and then took care of it best she could in a safe warm home to make sure it was well rested and had enough nutritious food and glucose from food is which is energy fueled for its little brain to think for its little heart to beat for its body muscles to move to grow her lungs to breathe air for all body functions to have fuel to function properly at normal temperatures to be warm enough safe and happy and healthy. The human health is most important. It is a reminder to the kids and to tell other kids this information to remember above all that human health is most important, that a human being cannot heal anything other than maybe if they get a small injury by accident and internalize, eat some healthy foods, fluids, then they might heal it a little bit, but basically Kids and all humans cannot heal anything. So it is best to think things first slowly about maintaining proper health, to be well rested, to sleep approximately eight hours, to care for your own health, and you respect yourself that way and set a good example for other kids and other humans. Kids, keep in mind, are growing. They need their little bodies to sleep, their brains to rest. The organs are growing entirely new cells. Even since babies, toddlers, the kids, throughout teenage years until adults are growing 
entirely new cells require a lot of rest and before going to school to remember to learn anything a kid a child has to be well rested and have enough food with enough nutrients vitamins minerals with enough glucose blood sugar for the brain to think for the heart to beat muscles to move to breathe air have enough water the body is made mainly of water in its cells to eat healthy food it is helpful that the parents teach it for to have a healthy brain to think enough meat products that are healthy to make healthy muscles and all different types of cells from amino acids for a child to internalize eat certain things such as bananas have potassium for the heart to beat help the brain to think for electrolytes help the nervous system and the body in many ways and brain a bit of salt pink salt better than the white salt to help their nervous system the stomach acids many things have enough foods rich in B vitamins help their body digest metabolize food items and help the brain in many ways to internalize certain fish items with omega-3 fatty acids to help the brain and heart to internalize foods oranges when safe at proper age for a kid a child to have enough vitamin c and other items that have vitamin c for antioxidants the vitamin c helps them to stay healthy prevent them from getting even the common cold to make sure when safe to do at a proper age to go in the sun can get vitamin d be healthier it is for the brain to be healthy also to be happy vitamin d helps the immune system and helps bind the calcium into the bones vitamin d is very helpful to kids and it is especially helpful during COVID times as i stated to help build a healthy immune system the kids can get at this advice of which foods have which vitamins and minerals from their parents from educators at schools can look up proper online resources online at a proper age the kids health is most important eating snacks that are healthy such as nuts walnuts are very healthy their sunflower seeds have a little bit of healthy fats in them these are healthy snacks with a little bit of protein help the muscles and brain are a lot healthier than eating any chips have more energy throughout the day to a child that is growing help the body to grow new cells 
With the amino acids are building blocks of life, consider these little tiny cells, these little ones that build the cells rather, build the proteins and many other things in the body, in the brain. To eat certain products such as whole grain, not white flour products, whole grain toast, bread, pasta, not white flour, pasta, items with white dough, white toast. Whole grains are always better to have in food items. For kids growing, healthier for their brain, for their body in many ways. To eat avocados, they have healthy fat. To drink enough milk, helps even when going in the sun, works together. The vitamin D from the sun absorbed to the skin when safe to a kid, a child, and the calcium in the milk help absorb, uh, bind together rather, to make healthy bones, teeth, skull, spine. These are basic things that are required for proper health of a kid. As a kid is growing a child, to remember to internalize these, enough water throughout the day, to be well rested, to think things through, be intelligent, to think first if it's proper to your health, then do it. If it's not going to be proper to your health, if it might be too cold for you to go somewhere, then don't go there. Make sure you're well dressed warm enough to go somewhere. Make sure it's safe to go somewhere. Always with a parent or a kind caregiver, a foster parent, depending on the situation. Remember that it is important to be well rested even to, when a child, a kid is growing, to take a nap when needed throughout the day. A child is growing a kid from a baby, a kind earth angel baby, to a toddler, then learns to walk, grows new muscles, new organs, almost all the ages past they are a teenager till 20 years old. A kid has to absorb as many nutrients as it can while growing new cells and building new muscles to sleep, rest the brain, Whereas the heart, the organs, which are to remember, are very delicate, easily damaged. So it is best to avoid injuring them. To think things through slowly, learn carefully what actions are best for your body. To sit in a normal position, a neutral position as a kid. With the hands resting on the side. Never to put the hands together in front in a praying position. So you don't have damage your heart as a kid. To never put the palms of the bottom of the hands together to never damage the hands, the wrists when growing new cells so they're not overstretched, so the veins aren't damaged. 
to never make the sign of the cross with the hands to save your health this way as a kid and all ages to never make the sign of the cross meaning to never put the hand on the forehead say in the name of the father then below the, on the waist say in the name of the son and then move the hand to the past the center point please don't do and then move to the left shoulder mentioning name of the Holy Spirit and then to the right shoulder back squishing the hand after overstretching it and the growing new back muscles and arm muscles and cells and veins arteries straining the heart and then putting the hands together please don't do with your palms together in front straining your heart and mentioning amen as part of the whole the sign of the cross please remember as a kid a child please tell other children when safe especially during covid times please wear a mask stay two meters away from other kids even while wearing a mask to prevent the germs viruses from spreading from one kid to another to other humans to other pets loved animals to make sure it doesn't spread from you a kid to someone else and you care from the kindness of your own heart and soul use your own gifts of this spirit highly valued by heaven to care for another life to make sure that you don't spread it any viruses germs bacteria to someone else and respect your health and life and theirs that way being a kid child human earth angel using your gifts when healthy to respect others in an act of staying two meters away and wearing a mask from the kindness and compassion of your own heart and soul a mercy act preventing others from suffering their health failing kids humans and animals pets so they don't get ill and bringing joy to their heart and souls when they are healthy and know that you cared enough from the kindness of your little heart to remember to wear a mask and stay two meters away and save them from being ill and bring heaven on earth to them as they rightly deserve That's the second part of the online merciful information session. The first was to care for your health that God created in his own image, a human, the Holy Father, the holy loving grace of God with a proper health brain physicality that the, your parents the kids parents loved into existence cared for and raised best they could to be healthy and cared for throughout the years then as a kid to use this health to respect them a valuable life a dignity you have that a kid has that every kid has to be respected by all other kids, all other humans, everyone else in the world, all animals, all have a dignity of God within them to be respected to their health, their lives, in every way they rightly deserve, by you and everyone else and everything else to remember this, 
to when you play with when it's safe to do when it's COVID times they kid to stay two meters away till it's the virus is gone. But to when socialize even online then safer to prevent spread of germs, viruses, the coronavirus, different forms of it. To remember to share information you learn about the coronavirus preventing you from spreading to from the kindness of your own heart and soul and share this information with other kids to help them so they can tell others using their gifts, virtues, as kind-hearted human earth angel kids to prevent this virus, bacteria, and other ones, germs spreading to others so they are healthy, to prevent it from spreading to loved pets and animals that have lungs, respiratory tracts that breathe through the nose, mouth, to care for them, respect their lives. In the third part of this online merciful information session, to remember that masks are made of certain chemicals, particles, materials, polypropylene in this time that works best that is known to prevent viruses from passing through the mask, from spreading to one human kid to another and other humans and animals. That it might spread this virus on the sides of the mask to be careful. That's why to even wear a mask when there was a when there is a kid present, another one or parent animal for you as a kid and all kids to stay away two meters away from other kids to prevent the virus from breathing out and spreading even sides of the mask to, to almost two meters away to another kid, a parent, loved animal, pet. This information is to please listen with kids' kind ears, hearing. When well had enough nutrients you have to be well rested, to think things through and share this information to other kids when safe, to parents, remind them, to make sure the parents buy you or give you a mask that is has a proper expiry date. Masks that have a proper expiry date and not fast work more better. This has to be on the packaging to please remember this information to be safe, to be healthy. If a mask is past the expiry date, it will not work right. The materials already break down and not working right. So don't buy it, don't use it. It will not prevent the germ virus from spreading. To make sure on the package, the mask, to prevent the spread of the viruses has a percentage on it. The two little circle, one circle, a line in a circle is a percent sign is the amount of how much the mask material of the mask medical one will prevent this virus from going through the mask to prevent it from spreading to someone else after breathing it. This has to be on the package, on the mask, 
Most are 97%, some 99 approximately. There are well-known masks, N95 masks. There's the China version of the mask, KN95, to prevent the spread of the virus and different forms of the coronavirus and other viruses. To remember, these are different masks made. They're not entirely the same. To pick the one that's better made for you, for your parents to help you find that one, caregivers. To find the proper mask if they have a love pet, the kids, parents to obviously help with this. To remember that the pets, animals have a respiratory tract, lungs, breathe through the nose, mouth, might get the virus too. To stay two meters away as kids, away from the pets, a dog, bunny, bird, a kitten, a cat, dog, rabbit, other loved pets to prevent the spread of this virus so it doesn't spread go from breathing one kid to the animal or the animal to the kid to other humans the parents to respect the kid themselves their health and lives and that of the health and lives of loved pets and animals and of the parents. To remember these words, to write them down, to be well rested. This is the third part of the online merciful information session. Any other information these days used to inform kids, parents to help, and ministers, priests, pope, rabbis of all religions to help inform the kids of different current up-to-date information and kids to ask these individuals when safe and parents for up-to-date information about other ways to prevent spread of coronavirus, such as water the hands with warm soap and water for 10 to 20 seconds, and then wash it down the drain. It helps kill the virus and wash it down the drain off your hands. It is better than to use a hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer doesn't kill the virus entirely. It might stay on the hands. To remember this information, to tell other children, kids, tell other parents, remind them too. These are things that these days kids have to learn and I learned this information myself over time and put it together so kids don't strain their heart and hear this. It's easier for them to hear instead of having to try to find it online. A lot of humans still don't know this, so I'm speaking this to the kids to hear this important information, to remember don't share any food Eat your own food. Make sure you eat food as kids two meters away from other humans. Six feet away from other humans, other kids, animals, loved pets, away from parents, two meters away or six feet away. 
to prevent this virus from spreading maybe from you to another kid or animal or your family member. If you eat your own food, don't share it. So then it won't spread if you breathe the virus onto the food to other humans. Other kids, if you get it or they might have it. You know, prevent it and it won't be spread to those humans. And you care enough to do this from the kindness of your little heart and soul. And be a kind earth angel kid, human, helping other humans by not making, to make sure rather that they're not ill, that you don't spread the virus to them, they don't spread to you, to the pets, loved ones, to the parents, to share this information to other kids when it is safe, on the phone, on online, if safe, if speaking to kids, stay two meters away, wearing a mask, when wearing a mask, remember kids, it's not easy to breathe air. When a human breathes air, a kid and all humans, they breathe out or they use air that the muscles use in different things. The heart is a muscle. They breathe out what is CO2, carbon dioxide basically, and breathe in clean air. When, you wear, when a kid wears a mask, it is not easy to breathe this air. And then breathe in what they breathe out and in becomes more poisonous and harms the health. So, only wear a mask when needed. If you're going to walk or exercise as a kid, remember to stay away two meters from other humans, other kids and animals. And ask parents when safe. Make sure the parents know if they didn't travel and the kids. Your parents will tell you it's safe to not wear the mask and then can walk upstairs to exercise, to move the muscles more, to walk. Even simple walking to remember is exercise and requires more breathing. Air in and CO2 out. Used air, CO2, comes out, but when on the mask, it'll stay in and out and become poison. So it is best to only wear the mask when needed in public. And to avoid walking too much or exercising when they have to wear the mask. To save the air you're breathing. And be healthier that way. To remember this about the pets. Parents to tell to take care of the pets, pets to check on them if they wear a mask so they have enough air to breathe. The kids remember stay away from the pets two meters away. Best for the parents to deal with them. They're older now. Remind them. Care that way. From the kindness of your little heart and soul. A human earth angel kid, a child, a teenager kid, toddler, started as a kind human earth angel baby, respectful of others' health, respectful of your own health and lives, care for others' health when you're healthy, they see you're healthy to remember then you're happy, then others see that you're healthy and happy, and they're happy. The parents, other kids, the animals, the pets have a life and soul too to remember. Want you to be happy and healthy, like you want them to be happy and healthy. They have kind-hearted souls too, and life to be respected too. To tell other humans to remember this, to use your kind virtues, 
to be kind, helpful to others, to not leave humans alone, to learn these things as a kid throughout the years as a teenager and practice this when it's safe, to help others with these gifts of the spirit you have, but first to be well rested, to sleep enough eight hours, then the brain is rested and body, and preventing the spread of this virus to others. And in the fourth part of this online merciful information session, to respect, remember, all others as mentioned, to remember that every life is valuable, including your own as a kid at every age, taller, baby started as, a kid then teenager to adult age. It is a valuable life you have. It is worth respecting your brain, your own physical health, to as raised properly, to eat the certain fruits and vegetables that are healthy for you. To remember how your parents that taught you properly to care for your health, to remember these things and tell it to other kids when proper to help them. Their, your health to remember is most important. You have a life worth respecting by yourself and others have to respect you. And all animals, and this applies to the parents. Kids have to respect the parents parents respect the kids and all nature they have a life too the trees plants flowers the grass to respect it it takes out the breathe air already the plants trees with green leaves and gives you air to breathe to the kids to the your parents to the animals it is a life that has belongs to God, that a kid such as you have choose to be religious or not, to be of clean-minded etiquette, to practice good morals, to be a good listener to others, what they're mentioning to you, to learn, educate yourselves when well-rested and have enough energy from food, blood sugar, glucose for your brain to think first for your heart a little heart to beat as a kid for your muscles then you can use to move to help someone to be patient with others to speak intelligently to others as you would want to be spoken to to respect them as other kids to the animals, to the parents, foster parents, to caregivers, teachers, to religious instructors like priests, ministers, rabbis, pope, other humans of different jobs when safe, depending on a kid's age, present with a parent nearby two meters away, to prevent the spread of coronavirus and different forms of it. There's other viruses in the world to remember, different germs, bacteria, to remember to be healthy as you can. You're growing new cells and eat enough food with proper vitamins, minerals throughout the years, because when you get older, the body doesn't heal itself as easily. So you have to care for your health as a kid throughout your life and care for your health as possibly long as you can. Because when you're older, it's not easy to absorb these 
vitamins and minerals from food. And it won't be able to heal yourself as easily. So make sure you're well rested and care for yourself and don't do anything that will injure yourself by accident to stay in warm temperatures safe. Don't travel to any place of worship ever. It is more important to stay home on a God's day of rest on Sundays before a long school work week and after another school week or work week depending how old when you get as a, after a kid and as a kid could volunteer a job a human has to rest a kid on Sundays Saturdays as well as needed to take a nap when needed still growing for a kid remember till 20 years old is growing new cells and the mind is growing needs to have enough food nutritious food a few vitamins minerals and food I mentioned but to ask parents for more items that are to find information more easily is online. Ask a doctor they can, if needed, to tell which you which food to the kids is most nutritious, most helpful to your brain, to the heart, muscles, the bones, to the breathing, the lungs part, mouth, to remember to chew food slowly and tell other kids in the mouth and it breaks down easily to swallow doesn't harm your your mouth the tongue the heart is easily digested broken down in stomach to the little vitamins cells that needed to the blood different parts to the bones vitamins minerals go to the bones to the blood to the heart to the brain the glucose is blood sugar simple to go to for you have energy to think for your heart to beat for your muscles to move for your body to be warm to remember if your body is already shivering shaking that means your body temp is too cold for you to dress more warmly get a blanket when safe as a kid tell other kids then you need more energy from food when your body is shivering. Do think of these simple things and save your health, care for your health as a kid. Tell others using your gifts, virtues, help others with this information, then they will be healthy and stay healthy longer as long as they can till old and then as much as they can. And respect it this way in these four parts of this online merciful information session and uh, any other helpful tips to remember so first to be physically healthy and well rested as a kid and then throughout life then can use your healthy body with enough energy well rested to be a temple above for the soul you have, kind-hearted soul to, and to think to use these gifts of the spirit to help others, to make sure they don't suffer, to prevent them suffering, to help them bring joy to their life, help them in ways that they need when safe. Don't expect a reward, but simply to help them as kids, other kids, animals, when safe, parents, other humans, nature, to care for it, learn about nature throughout the years when can, how it works, to take care of the world, certain things like reduce the items you use, recycle, reuse certain items so they can be used no more, help save the planet, it has a life, kids have to do their part, 
learn how to, at proper age, take care of, the, respect the animals, help them. They need to be taken care of. To learn what is most important in life and not waste time with what is not important to be intelligent and wise as kids and throughout their life and tell this information to other kids be a kind human earth angel kid sharing information you learn even online on phone when you hear this you teach it to other kids to parents when safe if in person wear a mask stay two meters away and tell them and then you will use your gifts from the kindness of your own heart and soul share this information caring enough and help them to learn how to help themselves, care for their health. Tell them to share to others this information. To care for nature and animals and all humans. To respect them as you want to be respect treated fairly. A valuable life as I stated. And these four main things to remember and review instead of going to a church on Sundays, Catholic or Protestant, Presbyterian, Jewish, depending on the religion. Even non-religious can view this kids at any age. Replaces the old mass that's harmful travel to worship places and too cold or too warm is not worth risking the health to remember as a kid to tell your parents and tell your parents to remind you the kids to care remember to respect your growing need to sleep enough on Sundays Saturdays during the week when needed to have enough nutritious food enough food with calories the blood sugar, glucose for your fuel to move your body to stay warm. To be dressed warmly. If it's too cold to go outside, tell your parents that it's safer to stay home. To don't go to schools if it's going to be virus, going to endanger your life. You have a right kids to tell your parents it's your safety you're a human being they have to know this and you can remind them of this so you don't want your life in danger to go to a school if there is a virus might spread there's supposed to be closed doors for all schools for all church to all churches public places like this Cafeterias don't endanger your life. Be safe and healthy. Tell other kids when safe, their parents, teachers. Classes are supposed to be online while the virus is going on. Parents, homeschooling help, other caregivers. This simple information to remember as kids. Listen to the video, share it to other kids even parents to watch this. This simple information, but I live through different things, even from my kid, Angelica, human earth angel, put this information together to help kids as long as they can to stay healthy as their the parents love them into existence, cared for them, and I have to remind them, and they remember I have to care for the kids. Uh, even till adult age and after as needed. Kids are growing new cells, need to sleep, and then to be healthy enough nutrients from food, and then to learn takes a lot of calories, energy from food, so it has to be a child sleep enough, a kid then eat enough breakfast in the morning, rest, to remember this, to sit and rest while your body is digesting, breaking down food, and the 
then to in the stomach, then intestines absorb to bloodstream to where the vitamins, minerals need to grow. The little proteins breaking down go to make new muscles, cells, blood, different cells made up of different from vitamins, minerals, go to different parts in the brain. Control the brain controls different body functions, the heart, breathing, muscle movements, speaking, taste, smell, vision, hearing, senses. All have to be warm, normal temperatures, 36.6 degrees approximately, to function properly for kids to remember. So to remember your body to stay warm. If it goes a bit too cold, it's no good. If it goes a bit too high, it's no good. To care for your health. Always get advice from caring love, parent, caregiver. Tell them the truth. If they need, you need more blankets, warm, they are there to help you. Remember to stay warm, to stay dry. Stay out of the snow. If it's see snow, it's obviously cold. Stay home. It's better off longer to stay warm and dry than to go out in the snow and play if it's too cold. Even to get runny nose, is, that means human is already big, kid is ill. To avoid this, don't do it. Don't go outside if you're going to get a, a cough. Cold is too cold. You might get sick this way, so stay home. You might get a virus. The cold is a virus too. Then need a fever too high, high to to kill the virus, and be then might get brain damage. Is not worth going outside in snow to become ill. To travel to worse a place to church is not worth it, and not you don't have to go. Tell the parents no now these days. A kid doesn't have to go and has rights to stay home where it's safe and warm with family, parents, and not go to church on Sundays. On Saturdays, depending on religion, Catholic, Jewish, Protestant, Presbyterian, Islamic, Muslim, Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, different religions. Remember, kids have rights, they're humans. To save their health, I'm informing the kids to please listen, to tell the parents fairly too, and remind them and parents to hear this too. The kids have a life, you loved into existence, the parents and kids, your parents care for you, so tell them the truth, you have rights. If you think your health is more important than it is, and remind them on Sundays to stay home and rest. It is not worth risking health to go to a place to worship. The worship practices of Catholic and other ones were harmful to health as it is physically. Kneeling is no longer allowed, so don't kneel. Save your knees. Health. Be healthy as long as you can, as kids and all your life. Kids, remember, growing new cells, not required to kneel in any church or any place. The knees are still growing new cells, stretching new cells, or stretching kneeling is not worth it to harm the little veins, kneecaps, harm the heart is not worth it. The health is more important. Remember, God and Jesus and Holy Spirit want you to be healthy as kids and every age. So they don't want you to kneel. They don't want you to cross your legs. Sit safely where it's warm. Rest on Sunday. Stay home when God is resting. On Saturdays, care for your health. Tell other kids it is in the world. If you know other languages, tell those ones. Share, and this is modern day internet when it's safe, parents to help you. Share to other kids in different countries that you know the language. Help them. Tell them this, they will be healthy.
use your kind-hearted little gift from the kindness of your own little heart of a kid. Help other kids, animals, parents. Stay home where it's safe. Prevent this spread of viruses. Stay home. Go out when it's safe to do, when it's warm enough. And you will be a human little kid earth angel. Doing what the, the angels in heaven do, but as a human on the earth. Healthy and helping other kids. When you can, the animals love pets. They love parents. And do this all your life and be healthy. Then have a job and work with other kids, volunteer, other humans. And use this information educated. Try to get a job that can help other people. And still be an earth angel kid all your life. An earth angel. So please share this video with other kids. With your parents. Angelica Jikela is a real earth angel. from the heaven, but a human on the earth, speaking to all the kids, kind children, start off as kind earth angel babies, with kind little hearts and souls, with their gifts, know what their purpose and life destiny is, to be healthy and use their gifts to help others when they can. And then everyone will be helped and not suffering. The kids can do this at every age, and parents and animals and nature, all respected, treated fairly, as the kids want to be respected, to remember this information, share it to other kids, parents, humans. Then everyone will be helped if needed will be happy in their hearts and souls, bring heaven to them by informing them of this, the kids, and they will have heaven on earth. All kids, toddlers, babies, all the beloved pets, parents, will have their heaven on earth all their life as they rightly deserve to live while they have only one life to live on this earth. Happy, healthy, and safe. Living peacefully, safe with family, friends. Loved animals, love nature, sun, the trees, beautiful plants, flowers, grass, clean air. All the kids respecting all the parents, the animals, the nature respects all creation too. And everyone living in their happy heaven on earth. So instead of practicing and traveling in too cold to warm, be healthy, stay home. And review this online merciful information session or the new, if you choose to remember this way, the helpful, kind little, helpful holy mass for kids to share, remember this information about health, to ask the parents for more help, to help their body brain be healthy. Help remind them, teach them, remember this to use their gifts to help others in their, from the kindness of their own heart and soul, to make others happy even, to remind them how to prevent spread of viruses, germs, and to share to others when needed this information to help them so they won't be ill, so they won't get sick. And to remember the last part, to respect their lives, is that you want to be respected, treated fairly as kids, animals, nature, the parents, everyone, 
as a right to be. And this is better than going to a mass and then getting dressed into cold or too warm temperatures to a church, spreading viruses and going there suffering, kneeling, making signs of cross that harm the health. And listening to a priest mentioning some things useful, some not, and harming the health, sleeping already too tired when get there. It is safer to stay home. And to listen to this and review the information in this video and share it to all the kids in the world in all languages. Be kind human or the angels. Like the holy angels in heaven, but a little human ones you can be. Follow Jesus' example, a kind-hearted man. Told all humans and kids. To be like him and be clean mind, speak intelligently, use the Holy Spirit gifts they have to help others when they can. So then others are not suffering and they're happy and healthy and they have heaven on earth. Thank you for listening to this. online merciful information session or helpful to all even non-religious are welcome remember this there are humans that don't practice any religion but are clean mind practice and care and help others are also to be respected treated fairly welcome to this session to share to them as well in all languages to all kids Then as all adults, old people, disabled people, help kids that are other kids without parents, help find them homes. And donate when you can to help them, to let you know these other kids exist like this, for the parents to help them, support them. Be a friend to them. No one is to be left alone to remember to be a kind-hearted kid all your life. A human kid, kind earth angel. So you can review this video every Sunday if you want to. You have free will of choice. As a kid and all their parents, humans of all ages, to see the real website for more information. When a kid get older and adult, I put more information helpful there already. The online merciful information session, and is part of a link from the Earth Angel Help website. One of the WIX.com websites that Angelica Jekela made as a human earth angel from heaven on this earth, a human, to help all kids, animals, nature, to make sure they're happy, so no one suffers, so everyone treats everyone with respect fairly, a valuable life they do have, have human rights, even children, kids to remember this. To respect the parents, the parents to respect the kids, the pets, animals, the nature. To love one another. And then everyone will be happy, healthy, and have heaven on earth as they rightly deserve. Well, they only have one life to live. <laughs>